Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys and I'm so glad to be with you to share with you a minute, just a few minutes, about a five or ten minute message on the fact that, that uh, joy, joy comes to those who weep. Joy comes to those who weep. You may be facing a problem right now. You may be looking at something that's breaking your heart and you wonder what's going to happen and how it's going to work out. I want you to learn from this little short message that joy can come in time of, 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 uh, of, of those who weep. And so I want you to see that. And over in the book of Hebrews, the fourth chapter, it says that we serve a high priest as Jesus Christ who is in heaven praying for you right now. Whatever you're facing, dear friend, Jesus is praying for you. He cares for you. Oh, He cares for you, especially those of you who believe in Him as Lord of your life. I want you to believe in Him as the Lord of your life. I want you to call upon Him and say, Lord, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me and paid for all my sins upon the cross. I believe He rose again. And I believe He's coming back. Come in my heart and help me live for you. Amen. Pray that prayer like that and, and mean it. As pray as best you can a prayer something like that. And then you know that your name is written in heaven and you belong to God. And the Bible says here, He's your high priest. Then we can come boldly to the throne of grace that we may find obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We can come boldly, boldly because you belong to God. Dear Christian friend, you belong to God and He loves you so much. You'll never realize how much He loves you. Well, so we can come boldly before His throne. He wants you to come to Him and ask Him for help. He wants you to come to Him and depend on Him for aid. He wants you to come to Him and He will wipe those tears away. And you will find joy in place of weeping. And so joy comes to those who weep. Oh, praise the Lord. In time of need, it will be there. We know and realize that over in the book of uh, uh, Hebrews again, in, uh, in the uh, uh, second chapter of Hebrews, we find, we find some, some good words. And that is that, that he, he delivers those that are in, in, that look to Him and trust in Him as their Lord. And again I say, put your trust in Him. And again, behold, I am the children. I am the children which God hath given me. Jesus said, put your trust in me because God has given me a number of children. You're one of them. And he'll be, you belong to God. And the Lord loves you and he wants you to be his. Over in the book of 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, and verse 7, it says, cast all your care upon him for he cares for you. You see, the Lord loves you. And he's bigger than anything you're having to face. He's better and bigger. I, re I read the other day of a woman who and her husband who was walking along the seaboard in Atlantic City along by the ocean. And they sit out on the beach to kind of look at the ocean. A little boy came by with a little bottle of bubbles and he was blowing bubbles from that from his little, little bottle of water. And <laughs> he walked by and he turned to them and phew, he blew some bubbles toward them. And she smiled, you know, and Pretty soon they were gone. And she's had this thought. She said, you know, she had some problems. And she'd been praying about them, trying to figure out what to do. And then she said, you know, I just realized that those problems were like those little bubbles. They just came so insignificant and didn't last long. But compared to the mighty ocean, what were those little bubbles compared to the ocean? And she said, the ocean is compared to the love of God and the grace of Christ Jesus. And what am I worried about? About the little bubbles that come when I'm, when I'm witnessing and I'm part of that great mighty ocean of God's love. Praise the Lord. Cast your care on Him. Those cares are like little bubbles. But God is like the mighty ocean that wants to bless you and help you and strengthen you and give you grace to bear and keep on bearing. God bless you, my dear friend. The Bible says in Psalm 46, God is our refuge, and He is our strength in time of trouble. God is our refuge. He is our strength in time of trouble. 
I want you to know that. There's an old song called In Loving Kindness. In loving kindness Jesus came my soul in mercy to reclaim. Oh man by his love and all is lame. Oh by his grace he lifted me from sinking sand he lifted me by his own hand he lifted me oh from shades of night to realms of light oh praise his name he lifted me and may the Lord lift you and bless you and know that he gives you joy in place of your tears he gives you strength in time of your weakness and it gives you mighty hope in time of despair look to him and find your strength in the Lord in the name of Jesus he loves you very much God help us Amen